All right, our dear students, this is OrasianUG.com, your number one website that provides holistic visual learning tutorials uh, that are practical and based on the low one new secondary uh, curriculum. As usual, your teacher is Teacher Hakim, and I'm going to take you through uh, chemistry, and this chemistry is going to be for uh, Form 2. And our first topic is about acids and alkalis so uh, we are going to understand in details what an acid is so as you are seeing here we are having various fruits and these fruits are called the citric fruits uh, then this one all these fruits are called the cape gooseberries uh, these ones are called cape gooseberries and uh, then these ones are called the grapes we are having the tamarinds and also other meat now when you look at all these things I've put here, some of them contain acids, others contain alkalis or other bases. Now, uh, when you look at these gooseberries and these uh, grapes, they contain acids. So what you call an acid is a substance, uh, when we dissolve it in water, it produces hydrogen ions as the only positive recharged ions, as we are going to understand later on. But before going into that detailed uh, definition of an acid, we are going to take a simple property of acids. Uh, all acids have a sour a taste so they have a sour taste so actually the word acid comes from the word acidus uh, which means something a uh, shower so when you look at uh, i mean sorry sorry sour so when you look at um, uh, when you look at these uh, gooseberries uh, when they are not ripe uh, they are sour when you get the grapes they are also sour so they contain what you call acids so uh, during um, uh, uh, early stages when we are still young we used to enjoy what you call uh, the lemons uh, the lemons the oranges but what was uh, amazing with them was that uh, these lemons and oranges were always sour so they had a sour a sour taste and uh, then what do you think they had this sour taste so what caused the sourness within them uh, that was basically uh, the acids they do have inside them so uh because this is a new uh, curriculum so we are going to be visualizing uh, uh uh, our activities that were taking place within our uh, laboratory, the region UG laboratory. So as you when you look at this one, that is a tomato or that is it's a tomato. Then that tomato is a fruit, but this fruit also contains acids. And the acids within those tomatoes, uh, we are calling them the oxalic acids. Mm, chemistry is amazing, is everywhere. So over there it is the lemon. So that lemon, all those lemons also contain acids, and those acids we call them the citric acids, meaning that all citric fruits contain uh, citric acids the lemons the oranges uh, we have the gooseberries we have the pineapples and uh, very many other examples so over there that is the vinegar i think you can see that uh, it is the vinegar so that vinegar is normally used at home to clean uh, utensils to clean glasses to clean tiles and that vinegar is containing acids and the acids there we are calling them uh, the ethanoic acid it is the ethanoic acid or aesthetic acid then that is the laboratory manufactured milk sour milk so it was made by our chemist so it is sour so it was uh it will it coagulated by the bacteria which we call the labs then the acid which is in that milk is called the lactic acid it's called lactic acid so uh, lactic acid is found in sour and milk and again over there as you are seeing in our laboratory that is milk uh, that is tea so we only normally put tea leaves within a uh, hot water or hot milk when you are preparing that one to drink so it contains also an acid and that acid which is found there is called the tannic acid so these acids are organically and they are found within our localities so there are very many things uh, there are very many fruits uh, are within our locality uh, that contain acids so uh, when you come back to the definition of acids, we are now going to understand that anything to be called an acid, it contains what we call uh, a sour taste, and what brings that sourness is now what we call the hydrogen ions. Yes, they are the hydrogen ions. So those hydrogen ions, uh, those hydrogen ions are the ions that cause the sourness. So as you have, uh, you are from seeing from our laboratory, Revision UG laboratory, we will say that those acids are found in the foods and the fruits we do eat. Therefore, those acids, we are terming them as organic acids. So when we come to the basics or the, the, 
uh, when you come to the classes or the types of acids uh, or classes of acids they are two one we have the organic acids as we are from seeing from our laboratory and also number two we are having what to call the mineral acids uh -huh. so the organic acid we've seen oxalic acid from the tomatoes citric acid from citric fruits ethanoic acid from the vinegar which is also called uh, acetic acid lactic acid within sour milk we have tannic acid within uh, the tea then we have tartaric acid this one is called tartaric acid and this tartaric acid is contained within, within the grapes then we have what we call formic acid or methanoic acid then this methanoic acid is found within the bee stings when the bee stings you then it injects an acid inside you then that acid is called methanoic acid is organic that's why it causes the swelling and the, the pain around the, the, the stung part then also the red ants also contain that acid so those are what you call organic acids then even our stomachs contain a naturally uh, occurring acid and that is H cell however we shall be seeing this H cell within also the mineral acid so within our first segment of this new series of new curriculum uh, chemistry senior 2 we have looked at now the first property of acids we said acids are sour they have that sourness um, uh, within it uh -huh. so and this one we've looked at organically occur or, or occurring acids within the fruits uh, we have uh, seen so please subscribe do share like and comment revision eg at com so we meet in the next next lesson where we shall be writing the definition of an acid uh, chemistry wise.